AZ, congrats on, on getting the A. Um, any surprise from you at all that Boone Jenner's the captain, or did this seem like captain obvious to you? Yeah, pretty obvious. I think um, I think anyone that's been here and in this organization and been around Boone kind of knew that was going to happen eventually at some point. Um, and then obviously with the departures of some guys, it made it very clear that that was the next guy up. Um, so yeah, no, I don't think anyone was surprised by it. Everyone's super happy. Uh, he comes to work every day. Uh, he's a guy that guys are attracted to in the locker room, like being around him. Um, he has a great personality and that great worth, work ethic. And he's a guy that's been here for a while and knows what it takes to win. So um, yeah, super happy for him. And like you said, it's, it was a pretty obvious pick. He's obviously a guy that leads by example mm -hmm. on the ice. Anybody can see that. And I don't think he's going to change with this letter. Can you say what he's like in the room? Is he vocal? Is he more vocal than we might anticipate? Or what kind of leader is he in the room? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's um, you know, probably what you could expect. I think he's a guy that goes out there every day in practice, his habits, how he plays the game in, you know, in games. He does all of, all of the, the, the little things well <clears throat> that makes him successful. And um, in terms of him in the locker room, I think – uh, he says things when things need to be said, and that speaks uh, more volumes than a guy that just comes in to say stuff whenever. Um, you know, when he talks, people listen, and uh, he knows when he's got to say something, and, and like I said, when he says it, he means it, and, and guys listen to him. So uh, I don't expect him to change too much now that he has a C on his jersey. Um, you know, he's captain for a reason, and uh, I'm excited to, you know, to be an alternate with him and, and kind of go through this thing and get this team going in the right direction. Um, can you kind of describe the feeling um, in the locker room when you found out, when Boone found out, um, you know, kind of what the feeling and the environment was in the locker room with all the other guys? Yeah, it was awesome. Everyone was super excited for him. Um, you know, the four of us were, we found out just before. Um, like I said, we kind of knew it was coming a little bit. Uh, obviously, the, the obvious choice. Um, so, yeah, we were all excited for him, really happy. And then when it was announced to the team, it was a cool moment. Everyone was, you could tell all the guys were really excited and, um, it's very well deserving on his end, and so everyone, like I said, everyone's just super happy for him, and yeah, pretty cool moment. Uh, for you yourself to wear the A, is this something you feel like you've been building towards? Something that you maybe had as a goal in mind for you as you've you know kind of matured here and become part of this leadership group? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I kind of felt like I was a, a part of the group a little bit, maybe without a letter on my jersey. Um, I was fortunate enough to you know to play with guys like Jonesy and Savvy on the back end and see how. Uh, how they were leaders over the years. Um, you know, I got to kind of see Cam and Felino and guys like that and, and you know, how, how they did their leading. Um, for me, it was just always playing my game, coming to the rink, doing what I do, um, trying to lead by, by example. I'm not going to say too much. And, um, you know, now that I have an A on my jersey, you know, nothing's going to change. just want to go out there and play my game and, and help this team win. But uh, I'm excited for it. It's, you know, I'm, it's, a, it's a good day for all of us. It's... Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just excited to get this thing going with Booner, Gus, and Bjorki. And uh, obviously, there's other guys that are part of the leadership group, too. So, um, but yeah, no, I'm excited about it. Hey, Zach. Um, when you look at the, the new leadership group as far as the guys with letters on the jersey, would it be fair to say, do you think that, that you guys are all kind of lead by example guys? And if so, do you need a vocal presence in the room at all to, to be a winning hockey team? Um, you know, I, I don't really think so. I think all, all of us, yeah, kind of lead by example, I guess. No one's really the, the most outgoing guy. Um, but I think it's one of those things when things need to be said, um, you know, whether it's Boone or Gus or myself or Bjorky, someone's going to say it, you know. Um, we're not going to be the guys that, um, like I said, change. You know, there's no need to change who we are or, or how we do things. It's uh, still approaching the game the same way. And, um doing everything we can on the ice in order to win hockey games and leading that way. Um, but when things need to be said, we're going to say it and, and be vocal that way. But um, I don't really think you need a guy that's too vocal in the locker room. I think, uh, I think well, at least for me personally, um, you know, guys that lead by example are the guys I like to follow. And uh, I think we have that in, in our leadership group. Uh, when you signed your extension and we talked to you on the Zoom call, I remember uh, you basically saying a lot about how uh, you wanted to be here, obviously, mm -hmm. and that was a big reason for it. Um, is this kind of part of that as well as, as you sort of, uh, just from a personal standpoint, um, you know, putting your own kind of stamp on, I guess, <laughs> you know, being a Blue Jacket and, and being a big part of, you know, this team going forward? 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, I'm here for the next seven years, so, um, you know, and I've been here for five already, so it's it's been a while, and I've, I've already put a lot of time in this organization, and I have a lot more uh, time here, hopefully, and, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things where uh, I'm excited for it. Um, you know, I want to put my stamp and leave my mark on this organization, and I think all of us have the same goal in mind um, from, you know, management down right down to the players and uh, staff and equipment guys. We all want to win here. And, um, you know, for me, being a part of this leadership group now, it's doing whatever we can in order to, in order to win hockey games and win a Stanley Cup. And um, it's just the beginning of it. It's, it's going to be a long year, but we're excited for it. And um, so, yeah, no, I'm excited to, to hopefully put my stamp on this, this organization, this city, this team, and, uh, like I said, try and win. So that kind of is an extension of that. I made a list of new things here. New coach, new captain. You have a new playing partner, a new power play. Even the dressing room's new. Mm -hmm. Does this organization need this? Does it feel like this fresh start comes at the perfect time? And how just optimistic <coughs> and renewed do you feel getting into it? Yeah, I think it's awesome. It's uh, it's the perfect time for it. Um, you know, last year, it's, it's weird thinking about last year because it's so different now. Um, you know, we don't have torts. We don't have a lot of the guys, like you said. Everything you mentioned, it's totally new, a new, lo new locker room. It just feels fresh here. Um, and it feels like a lot of the guys that are here didn't experience last year, and that's probably a good thing. Um, you know, they're coming with a lot of excitement and uh, just a, f a fresh, clean slate. You know, we play game one in a few days, and everything starts over. Everyone's, you know, 0-0 zero, zero on the standings, and um, it's a long year, 82 games. We're excited for it. but. I think everything that's happened with coaches and players and locker room and captaincy, you know, whatever it is, anything that's new, I think it's, I think it's been awesome for our organization, our group. Um, so yeah, the players, it seems like there's a new life in that locker room, and it's been a lot of fun so far. Kind of building on that, um, how excited are you to, to just get this season going and see what this team can do? I mean, when you look at, I think, I don't know how much. How much you guys are looking at what people are saying about this team, but there's not a whole lot of high expectations outside of Columbus here. What, like, how excited are you just to see what this team could do? Yeah, we're really excited. Um, I don't really read what people write. Um, obviously, we we know what people have said and uh, things like that. But as players, you can't read into it too much. We know what we have in that room. Uh, I think we've shown shown it a lot throughout the preseason. You know, it's just preseason, but I think we've played the style of hockey that we need to play in order to win and. Uh, and we should be excited about our group. We're a fast team. We have a lot of young guys. Um, it should be an exciting year for us, and we have high expectations. Uh, at least I do. I know Boone does. Our, our leadership group does. Uh, we think we can we can win and, and do some big things this year, and we're just really excited to get it going. Obviously, long training camp, hard training camp. Um, so, yeah, we're excited for game one and, and for a fun season for us. Thanks, guys. Yep. Thanks, guys.